nowadays organized quick development with balanced teamwork has become the most important aspect of any development work be it web mobile or desktop at the same time meeting the ever increasing demand for faster apps and coping up with the changing technology our development teams are really tested to the core this is where following component based architecture when designing an app has become the need of the hour you cannot only combine reuse and version your components but also will save a lot of precious development time and money in the process so what is this component based architecture anyway let me give you a small example imagine you have a web page which has items like menu products header footer social icons let's also have a cart here and maybe a video to welcome you on the site now the earlier approach was that the code of all these elements will be at the same place that is the elements will be part of the single code base even if you keep it in functions and separate files but they are not loosely coupled most of the time isn't it now with the introduction of component based architecture each of these is a separate component so here we have a menu component products component header footer social icons component cart component video component all these are individual components now what is the benefit of doing all this suppose there is some issue in the footer component maybe the design needs to be changed or the css needs to be tweaked or for any other reason i just have to check that particular component and not the entire code of the page so the component based architecture leads to faster development in less time better code management effective testing and smooth error handling it helps to code parent and child components in a structured and proper way working with component based architecture i can allocate different components to different developers and make sure that my project's development is running at super speed each developer or team member has a separate responsibility in terms of development remember when i say that designing separate components is a better way i don't mean that you design too many components you need to have a logical division this has to be in control of the developer as with component based architecture they tend to move towards over engineering that is unnecessary like in our example our developer uses two separate footer components having two footer components doesn't make any sense why would you need that anyway it happens that developers do not divide the page into components and on the flip side divide unnecessarily this is where a better developer knows how many logical components can be divided so that the development is faster saving time money and energy an average developer looking at the page may not be able to guess how many components that page can have but a better developer with a good component based architecture approach will immediately identify the number of components having said that i must also tell you no matter how great you are in react or maybe in the future how awesome you become using react but if you do not follow the component based architecture approach properly then there is no point in using react for developers that want more control over their applications and a greater range of customization keeping your components in smaller logical segments with the component based architecture just might be the answer